Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Samantha and I am currently a student at the Sharia program which teaches you classical Arabic. Um, so a little, about, about, little bit about my background. I'm an American. Uh, before this program, I didn't have any experience with Arabic outside of just learning the alphabet. Um, and I was previously a Christian uh, and been a Muslim for about three and a half years now. Um, so totally new to all of this stuff. Um, so why was I interested in this program? Well, I wanted to uh, verify, verify for myself uh, what the Quran says, basically, because when you look at English translations, uh, it's very common when you look at them side by side. You, you'll find some words still have, you know, different uh, word choices that you use. And sometimes it can make it like change your understanding of, of what the verse is in the Quran. And that's really important. Um, there are things that get lost in translation all the time because a word can have many meanings and all of the meanings can be applied in a verse. Um, like, for example, the difference between Rahman and Rahim, like there's there's so much that's into that instead of just the, the most merciful, the beneficent. Um, there's so much more. Uh, so how I found this program, I found I first heard it mentioned on Reddit uh, and then I saw it again, uh, a little bit more detail on Muslim Matters, the website. Uh, so I decided, OK, why not? I'll try the free report that they were talking about. Um, so. I went through it and I was really impressed. I was like, this this makes logical sense to me. Why wouldn't you start with, you know, the foundation of the Arabic language, which is its grammar and its sarf. Its sarf. So this is a fundamental difference between Arabic and English. Why wouldn't you start with the key components? Um, so in the beginning, I did struggle. I was a self-paced student, meaning I would um, I didn't attend any of the live classes. I would just access the videos on my own time. Uh, I did struggle with that because uh, it's it's ideal for those who are really motivated and can work through it on their own. But if you're really not one of those people and you'll figure it out, uh, you'll just get stuck restarting over and over and maybe you fall by the wayside. So for me, it worked out better later on that I attended the live class because it really pushes you to, to keep forward, to keep up with the class. Um, and uh, the other concern that uh, some people might have is that the material can be really heavy at times um, because you are starting with the core part of the language, starting out with the 80-20 method where you're, you're learning the, the really important pieces, uh, but the, the benefit of it is that you're going to see it over and over again, so it's only going to get easier as you go through it. Plus, there's lots of resources to help you. There's the help desk, uh, which have, is offered every week. Um, they have review sessions for the first 10 weeks. Uh, that happen every so often. There's the live classes where you can go in and like listen to people ask questions or ask questions yourself. Um, there's the forums and then just listening to the videos again and again and just like taking the time to really understand it. Um, so the benefits were definitely there were excellent materials like the books that you get. You, you start out with uh, the stories of the prophets, which is great because um, they're, they're written at a children's level, but you, you're already using the, the language. By the third week, you're starting this book. Uh, about the story of the prophets and and you're seeing what you're learning in action and you're increasing your understanding and it's it's getting easier because you can see how it's actually working so already at the third week you're reading an Arabic text which is amazing um, and uh, there's of course the grammar text Hidayat uh, Naho which is really great um, and it helps you to really get in a mindset of like the classical scholars and how they thought and how they present ideas and stuff uh, which is really important for if you want to learn classical Arabic and want to be able to access these these classical texts so you can understand tafsir or any other issue related to Islam. You kind of have to know how they think and how they present things. So that book was chosen uh, for that purpose. And there are other uh, books later on uh, that cover um, tafsir and uh, logic. Uh, so lots of materials and you get to cover a wide sample uh, which is really really nice uh, and of course uh, there's the videos themselves they go all the way through to the two-year program um, and you can look at all the stuff that I just mentioned and there are the live classes themselves which is great because anything that uh, the teacher Mufti Yusuf that he you know starts to think about and he decides okay there's there's an, a better way of presenting this you get the benefit of that right away um, so it's meant for part-time students, so the material is very focused and everything that you're learning is useful, whether it's 
uh, you know, just getting more exposure to the language or you're seeing a uh, material that was covered in a slideshow, you get to see it in practice or just getting inside the thinking, as I mentioned before, of the, of, uh, the, the classical uh, authors. Uh, it's a streamlined program. The teacher, Mufti Yusuf, has been teaching apparently for 15 years uh, this program, uh, which is amazing. So it's definitely, you know, gotten better as time's gone on. Um, it has a logical pacing, starting with a solid foundation in Nahu and Sarf. Um, and you can learn wherever you are in the world at whatever time. I, I went on vacation in Morocco and I was able to, you know, still keep going with my lessons, which is great. Uh, there's lots of support, as I mentioned before, and what you get is what you put in. What you get out is what you put in. So it's kind of different from maybe an approach where, say, you just go to an Arabic country or Arabic speaking country and you just go there and you go for immersion. Well, yeah, okay, well, what you'll learn is a dialect, but that's not going to help you when you're trying to understand the Qur'an because it's, it's, it's different. And uh, so you need to have a, a solid foundation in the grammar, which is really important, especially for written Arabic. Uh, it's really important. And a lot of those rules, they get changed around in, in the spoken Arabic that you hear today. Um, so, and of course, the main huge benefit is you will be able to verify translations of the Quran, like your English speaker, like myself. You can look at the translation and say, well, I'm, I, I'm curious about this word or whatever, and I, I, want, I want to look at the ayah myself and, and just start to analyze it and see, okay, I understand how they arrived at that translation. I can see where it's coming from. Or maybe this word, there's some other meanings to the word. You look it up in a dictionary and you find out there's even more and it, and it makes the, the ayah even more impactful and powerful, subhanAllah. Um, and you'll be able to access, you know, the classical texts to gather more information and background on the Qur'an, a hadith, a sunnah, um, a fiqh. Uh, all of these classical sciences, uh, sciences that are, you know, so well known and seem so accessible to us as the average Muslim, especially to a, a Muslim convert or a new Muslim, um, you you can, you know, um, start to, to access that material, which is great because then you can start to get a more um, wider view of Islam because it has such a deep, rich history and rich history of scholars that have written so much. And it, it's really a nice feeling knowing that you're, you're going to be able to access that rich history and the scholarship that's been, you know, for over a thousand years. Um, so basically... What I'm saying is I definitely think this is worth your time and your money. I highly recommend it. Everything is set up for you to succeed. Uh, just show up and do the work and you will make promise uh, progress, inshallah ta'ala. So um, may Allah bless, you know, the the teacher, Mufti Yusuf, and his staff. Uh, they have made an excellent program. I, I really enjoy it so far, and I've learned so much in such a short amount of time. And may Allah bless you for, you know, reaching out and looking for resources to help you understand, you know, classical Arabic so you can understand the Qur'an. May Allah bless your efforts and may, um, make it easy for you. Allah <laughs>